In fact, COVID hospitalizations are on the rise as the positivity rate continues to rise statewide. Here in Alabama's southeast region, hospitalizations are at just 100 COVID patients. But WDHN's Allison Polk talked with the administrator from the Alabama Department of Public Health about what we can expect in coming weeks. And she joins us now live. Allison? Well, Mike and Amanda, as the, we see the positivity rate continue to climb, we might see a peak in the near future. The Omicron variant is continuing to sweep the nation as the positivity rate continues, sitting at 43.6% currently in Alabama. The positivity rate is, is much higher than what we were used to with, with Delta. Um, this variant, as, as was reported early on, was thought to be you know, much more transmissible, and I, and I think it's proving, proving that every day. Certainly have seen an uptick in a number of cases. Um, we've seen requests for, for testing go up, um, and in some cases, we've seen the requests for vaccines go up. Recently, the hospitalizations in the area have gone up in the past week, but even with COVID cases rising due to the Omicron variant, the hospitalizations do not compare to the numbers seen during the Delta variant surge. So we're, we're not seeing quite the, the, the spike in, in hospitalizations with this one as we saw with the other one. With Delta is that we had well over 200 people in hospital just in our local area. Um, for several weeks. Um, we're running just a little under 100 total patients uh, the COVID related. Um, so we're, we're not nearly at the, the, I guess, the hospitalization rate that we saw with Delta. But while the numbers of hospitalizations are lower than what we saw with the Delta surge, those numbers are continuing to rise in the Southeast, but a peak might be on the horizon. Um, but I think we still probably have a few more weeks of, of seeing this virus uh, in our communities and. I suspect we'll see some increase in our hospital numbers, but hopefully it will be a much less severe situation. Locally, Southeast Health is seeing 24 patients hospitalized due to COVID-19. That's one less than what they saw yesterday. Flowers Hospital is seeing 28 COVID patients, the same number as yesterday afternoon.